Kone Nanospace delivers industry-leading space efficiency, best-in-class comfort and accessibility, and excellent echo efficiency with the shortest possible replacement downtime. To ensure a fast and trouble-free replacement process, a site survey is conducted in several phases well before installation begins. Sophisticated laser measurement devices and tools are used to precisely measure the dimensions of the old elevator shaft to fit the largest possible car in the available space. All relevant issues are documented so that the site process can be planned in detail to minimize elevator downtime and disturbance. First, the old elevator is dismantled completely. Old machinery, ropes, elevator car and counterweights, guide rails and doors are removed and recycled as far as is practical. The existing elevator machine room can be repurposed. As with Conne Nanospace, it's no longer needed. When the shaft is empty, the door openings are closed with temporary plywood panels and barriers to ensure safety and minimum disturbance to tenants. The shaft walls and pit are cleaned and can be painted if required. The shaft is now ready for installation. Installation begins from the pit. The lowest guide rails are precisely positioned and fixed to the walls. They create the framework that keeps the car sling and the car in an upright position as they are built between the first rails. Great care is taken to keep all components exactly aligned. The car body is assembled inside the sling frame and will be used as an installation platform in the upper parts of the shaft. All shaft components, guide rails and shaft electrical work, are installed from the top of the car as it is moved up the shaft using a temporary rope hoist. The guide rails for the two balancing weights are installed in a similar manner. They utilize the otherwise wasted shallow space left between the car and the shaft walls next to the car guide rails. This is how the maximum shaft area can be utilized for a larger elevator car. The temporary plywood door panels are removed and the new automatic landing doors are installed from the car top. The elevator controller is installed on the lowest floor level so that it's close to the new Kone Echo Reel hoisting motor. When the shaft components, electrics and landing doors are in place, it's time to bring in the new Conair Echo Reel hoisting unit and fix it in the pit. At this stage, the two balancing weights are also assembled at the bottom of the shaft. When the hoisting machine is installed and the balancing weights assembled, they are connected by belts from the underside. And steel ropes from the top. So the elevator can be operated by its own motor power. When final adjustment tests are completed, the official elevator inspection can be carried out. The brand new elevator is handed over to the customer. It took as little as two weeks from dismantling to first passengers. Conne Nanospace. More comfort in less time.